Hey there, fellow creators, Ben here from Cinderblock Studios, and I'm back today with a quick tip about pastel paper and why you probably shouldn't buy it because it's overpriced and not as effective as the thing I'm going to tell you about today. So while pastel paper is certainly useful, there's a lot of different tones and shades and it has its place, sure, uh, it can get a little pricey and a lot of times it's not always the most effective solution for using with your pastels. Uh, one thing that is way better, way cheaper, and way more available to literally everybody around the world, as long as you have a hardware store, and that is sandpaper, specifically a finer tooth grit sandpaper. This is some Gator 400 grit stuff myself that I picked up at my local hardware store. These are about, I think it was 79 cents a sheet, uh, which is as cheap as you can go for paper. Now, of course, it's going to be a little bit thinner than the pastel paper you get at the store, but this stuff in particular, uh, because it's so thin, uh, you do have the option to mount it to another support, and because the back is, you know, relatively nice, semi-treated, it's not, it's, it's not sandpaper like the front. You could attach it to something like a wood panel and create that rigid wood support with the sandpaper a lot cheaper than you could by getting a high quality board and uh, some pastel paper and doing that with it. Uh, so this was just a, a little bit of an acrylic medium. Uh, spread that out, attach the paper, hit it with my brayer to make sure it was nice and smooth, and I did this with it. But pastel paper itself um, has a little bit of tooth and texture, but the sandpaper is going to be a lot better for you, I think, and, and especially if you're just getting into pastels, you're not sure if you're going to really use them a ton. The pastel paper is an investment, but this stuff is cheap. Uh, now, you definitely don't want to go too high of a grit, or I actually should say too low of a grit. Uh, I, would, I got 400. I was looking at also the 300 and the 200. I think the 200 or the... 250 I think is probably a little bit too low, so I would go 300 grit or higher. Uh, this is sort of a nice middle ground. I was looking at some 600, but that was like really smooth stuff. Definitely better for wet sanding, but uh, it really depends on the texture your texture you want to go and want to go for. And to prove that this isn't just some random weird idea, uh, here's a little just example of me working on this. I grabbed one of the extra little squares that I cut off when I glued the other one to a piece of wood. Um, Really simple stuff, you know, the, the little bit of texture and tooth you get out of, actually the lot of texture and tooth you get out of uh, the sandpaper will of course uh, grind down your pastels possibly a little sooner than you might expect out of a uh, just a regular paper, but um, I find that that extra bit of texture really lets the pastels adhere and, and stick to the paper a lot more. Uh, of course, again, you wouldn't, uh, you can't do a ton of uh, overlay. Um, Pastels, uh, the, more, the more you work them on any kind of paper, of course, you're going to have the issue of them uh, tearing the paper the more you you know, scrub in with them, so you definitely have to work carefully. But I do find that sandpaper is really a great alternative to just using regular pastel paper, and I hope you guys can give it a try. So that's it for this week. Just wanted to give you this quick little short video to keep you guys inspired. If you enjoyed this or found it interesting, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Check me out on social links in the description box below, including a community Discord where you can chat with me as well as other artists and fans of this channel. Uh, I think that's all, everything. Uh, keep on creating. This has been from Cinderblock Studios, and I will see you guys next time. Get on a roll, and I forgot the rhythm. <laughs>